welcome to the Cherries TV. <laughs> Welcome to the Cherries TV. My name is Abby and I'm a fragrance lover. I love anything that smells, feels, and smells good, you guys. Welcome back to another video. By the title of this video, you already know it's about to get down. But babe, before we get into this video, have you subscribed to the channel? If you haven't subscribed to this channel, I'm going to go ahead and give you some time to subscribe because babes, we're not starting this video until you subscribe to the channel. So go ahead. I'll wait. Did you click that subscribe button, babes? All right, <laughs> let's get right into this video. By the title of this video, you already know it's about to get down. Today, we're going to be sharing how I smell good all day long. These are the steps that I take to smell really good and get compliments. Today, I'm gonna be sharing four ways I apply my fragrances and four ways that I would layer these four fragrances, depending on which one I am using. And if that sounds like something that you're definitely interested in, go ahead, consider subscribing, babe. All right, you guys, so if you are new here, my name is Abby, and on this channel, we talk about fragrances. Anything that has to do with smelling good, feeling good, that's what we talk about. And occasionally, we do lifestyle content. All right, you guys, so if that sounds like something that you're definitely interested in, go ahead and grab a seat, grab a drink, grab a snack, sit back, hit that subscribe button, put it on all so you can be notified for every single video that I do post and relax and enjoy the video guys. So a lot of you guys think that fragrance just stops at fragrance. No, smelling good and getting compliments doesn't start with fragrances and it doesn't end with the fragrance at all all okay in order for you to smell good all day baby there are steps you cannot get off of work after a long sweaty day sweating you know working hard sweat dripping clothes all muskies and then take a fragrance like instant crush and spray it on you and expect to smell good all day yeah people will smell that but they will also smell the muskiness that you're giving off behind that fragrance. I want you guys to be smelling good every single day, all day. We all know that the first step in smelling good is taking a beautiful shower. So let's just say that I wanna wear a vanilla fragrance. Kaylee's Vanilla 28. If I want to make sure that Vanilla 28 by Kaylee lasts on me all day, and I want people to smell me, I want it to project, I want it to get compliments, the first thing I do is start off with my shower routine. I shower with a body wash. Now, before I do my Smell Good body wash, I use a body wash, peppermint body wash. Start off with that just to get all the dirt and bacteria off my skin. I use that soap just to clean myself, just to get all the dirt. Now I'm starting off on building my um, scent profile for the day. And I go ahead and I use a body wash that complements the fragrance that I'm gonna be wearing for the day. And this body wash is from Dove. They are pampering body wash, and this is shea butter and vanilla. I do a nice lather. I wash the skin, and you could smell the aroma inside of the bathroom. This would make sure that that vanilla vanilla scent is on the skin and I go in with that and I wash and I just get in there and then it just depends on if I'm doing this beforehand or after I go in with a body scrub now I don't do this every day guys please don't think that I scrub my body like this every day because I do use an exfoliating um, washcloth when I'm doing my first cleanse. But this is like once or twice a week I do this and I go in with um, a body scrub. And this one is the Tea Tree Body Scrub. This one is their Shea Scrub. So it's just a regular um, Moroccan um, rose. And rose and vanilla does go well together. So. This one, I don't necessarily do it for the scent. I just do it for the scrub because the uh, beads in this is pretty big, so it will get me um, very, very smooth. Now, once I get off the shower though, I go in with a lotion. And this one is the EOS Vanilla Cashmere Lotion. I go in with this vanilla lotion. And then when I go in with that, you guys, if I want to take it an extra step, I put a body oil, but this one is super moisturizing. It is 24 hour moisture and it has shea butter in it. So the most common denominator in each item that I'm using is shea butter because that is very hydrating. It will keep my skin looking really nice and glowy and also 
shea butter is a nice scent as well so it will complement the fragrance and of course this is vanilla and this one is shea butter and vanilla scrub is a rose scrub which the scrub scent doesn't really last it's, it all bases on the um shower gel or um cream and the body lotion and then y'all after i'm done with all of that i go in with my fragrance and if you guys watch my vlogs y'all would know that i am an over sprayer i go in with my fragrance the next fragrance that i have in my collection that really don't last you guys but when i do this step it lasts for a good six hours it is Cheruso 62 it is from Sol de Janeiro and it is their Brazilian crush now you guys everybody and their mom love this bum bum cream Brazilian crush scent but it does not last now you have the actual fragrance as well but it really doesn't last either I've heard that some people say that this lasts longer now what I do when I'm getting in the shower I first go in with the Brazilian foreplay body cream and this is the um, moisturizing shower cream gel. I go in with this first and you guys, this right here alone will have your skin smelling super, super good. But that's not it. I then go in with my Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. And this one is the regular Bum Bum Cream. Now, if it's one of those exfoliating days, I will put on this, um, the scrub. I got this one for the first time. This one is super potent. So when you finish doing your scrub, it's not like the Tree Hut one, you will smell the scent on you. Cause it kind of scrub you and then it dissolves into like a cream and then you rinse it off. So I really like this. I was testing it out. I just got it in this week and I'm just gonna go ahead and order me the big bottle because this is so good. So for the next layer in combo, this is for when I am wearing a long lasting fragrance but i still want to build up that um scent profile i first go in with my dove um restoring body wash now this one is their coconut and cocoa butter um body wash now this one is restoring so if you have extremely dry skin this is what you need because it is not the same as the pampering this restoring one will keep your skin super hydrated it kind of feel like i could never get it out of my washcloth that's how moisturizing and hydrating it is i use this one when i need that extra bump but i don't necessarily need that more so use this for the scent because that coconut and coconut butter is amazing and after i do that i go in with a body polish and y'all know this is the dove body polish this is one that i would do every other day because the exfoliation in this is not that crazy even though it says it is deep it's really not as deep as the tree hut one this one is in the um scent brown sugar and coconut butter and you add this with the body wash you get a beautiful coconut cocoa butter shea butter scent and then i go in with my Nivea body lotion. This one doesn't really have a scent. It has almond oil and it's deep nourishing, but this one kind of reminds me of the um, baby oil or baby lotion scent, but it's not as strong, but I still get that vibe from it. This right here will have me glowing. And I usually love to glow when I'm wearing this rose scent and it is Mansara's Roses Vanille. Now, this is what I would do if I'm wearing Roses Vanille. I will start off with this Dove Cocoa Butter and then I will go in with the Dove Exfoliating Brown Sugar and Cocoa Butter. And then I'll also go ahead and put this Roses Vanille. The reason why I do that is because it's not because I'm wearing a coconut, but because of that cocoa butter is giving me that sensual vibe that I do get from Roses Vanille. And that's how I layer it. Now, Roses Vanille has no issues of lasting long all day long. But when I pair it with that, it just gives it a really unique scent on my skin. When I don't have time to pamper my skin, I just go in straight with my cleansing. Um, peppermint soap which I'll put up right here for you guys that I showed you guys earlier I'll go in with that especially because it gets my skin clean and it will wake me up one because I am in a rush it will remind me hey girl 
you need to hurry up and get out the house. I don't have time to add extra body care items or anything like a scrub or a um, smell good body wash. No, who got time for that? I just gotta get in and get out. If I'm wearing a fragrance that I need it to last long, such as um, this right here, and this is Ebony Woods by Zara. If I'm gonna be wearing that, and it does last long on its own, but I'm in a rush. I will go in with my Necessaire body lotion. And this is in their non-fragrance free. This right here is super moisturizing, you guys. I was super shocked. It is a little bit on the more expensive side. You won't find it for $10. You probably will find it for $15 and up, I think. It's at um, Necessaire or at um, Sephora. But guys, when I tell you this is super hydrating, you will not regret it this will have my skin feeling really good and the reason why I also use this because it don't matter what fragrance I'm wearing this is what I'm gonna put on because it's fragrance free but it still has that hydration and that hold that I need that and I can get that I usually would get from these body lotions but I'm getting it in this and it doesn't have a scent. That way I can wear whatever fragrance I want and it will last long. So I just go ahead and smother this all over my body, especially in the parts where I will spray, which is right up right here, right here on my arms. And then that's it y'all. And I will smell good all day. And that was it for the video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you made it this far, why are you not subscribed at this point? Why are you not subscribed? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, babes. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. <laughs> you will not regret it, guys. What are all. your tips of making your fragrance last long? Go ahead and comment down below. Let me know. Um, share with me. These are my go-to tips on making my fragrance last long and somewhat a layering combo when I'm wearing these style of fragrances. And when I am in a rush and I'm just trying to get out of the house, I use a regular soap and then I put on this fragrance-free lotion and I am out the house, you guys. So go ahead and comment down below. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Until we see each other again, my name is Abby and on this channel, we talk about fragrances, babe. All right, and I hope you guys do subscribe. I'll list everything in the description box below for you guys to shop. Please, 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 please stay safe and keep on smelling fragrances, babes. Bye. <laughs>